Uh, just caught a rhythm of uh, being able just to be in tag mode and play free. And, um, you know, allowed me to come out like that. 13 shots for you. Would you like more than four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to be the best in my role. You know, whether that's taking more shots, whether that's taking five shots, you know, just trying to play my role. You know, that's kind of what I settled into um, now in this part of the season. So, Kyle, there are moments when you were matched up against Jason Tatum. Can you talk a little bit about what the focus was during those matchups and controlling him? Um, I mean, ever since uh, both of us came in the league, you know, we've had, uh, you know, some good battles, um, you know, um, even going back to summer playing USA basketball. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's always fun competing against him and uh, he'd probably say the same. So, um, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Who wins out of count the same in the standings, but are some more bigger than others like this one? Uh, yeah, I think it's, I mean, not because we played the Celtics, but I think it was big because how, how we closed the game out. I don't think we closed out a game like that in a, a while. So I think it was, uh, it was good for us to close out a game like that and see, uh, you know, some type of playoff like feel. So, what, it, what does that teach you down the stretch? As you said, not because of the Celtics, but the Celtics are right now one of the elite teams. You win a close game on this stage, yeah, on an organization that's really just kind of come together this year. What's that mean moving forward, Kyle? Um, I mean, kind of just piggyback on what, what I just said. Um, you know, being able to close out games. You know, I think for the most part of the season, our, our season's been you know black and white. It's either we've had a really good game blown out a team or, um, you know, handled the team pretty well or we kind of just lost. But, um, you know, this is a really good test for us tonight. Um, you know, tough, op tough opponent, uh, and they have a different type of playing style than what we're accustomed to. And, um, you know, we're able to prevail, so. Tomorrow's another day where a lot of people are going to have the scab ripped off of, of the healing with Kobe, and then you got to come right back and play another good team and a good game. How do you balance those emotions? Um, I mean, I've kind of, I've kind of, you know, put it on my back burner already. Uh, it's been a long time. Obviously, um, there's a grieving period, but, um, you know, I'm not too much thinking about that. I think it's more of a thing tomorrow to really celebrate um, and not to really, you know, dwell. And, um, you know, we got to get ready for Pelicans. You know, this is part of the season where we have to lock in and focus and uh, get to it. So, I appreciate you. Thank you. What's this process been like? Sort of the first stretch for you going through meaningful games, post all you know, into a playoff run, all that, you know, all those things. You're talking about the team. What's it been like, kind of, for you and your process? Um, you know, I, I think uh, you know, I, I've improved a lot this year. I think uh, just my all-around game, uh, my basketball IQ, uh, my feel, just learning how to play winning basketball. You know, it's a little bit different. You know, playing. Um, you know, just a regular game and, and then playing meaningful games. You know, obviously, we're not in the stretch of meaningful games yet because it's not the playoffs, but... Um, but then that purpose, you're build, every game is sort of building towards a purpose that's yeah. different than it's been for you before. Yeah, exactly. It's a, just a different purpose and a uh, different mindset and different focus on how you have to approach each game. So You were talking before about uh, going up against Jason. What, what's your comfort level in terms of operating more as a win? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm a wing. Um, I, I'm, I'm most comfortable offensively and defensively, you know, being a wing. Um, as opposed to a four? I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, when I had the ball in my hands, I'm able to, you know, play off pick and rolls, um, you know, play make, uh, and, you know, chase guys off screens and whatnot. Um, you know, you know, I feel like that's where I'm most comfortable. Um, so. Last question. You talk about preparing for, the, for meaningful games. This one, on a regular season level, is about as meaningful as it gets given national TV, two teams that are contenders for a title, yeah. and it's the Celtics. Yeah. How much How much does, does that enter into it, the fact that you're playing Boston? Say, say the last part. The fact that you're playing Boston. Um, I mean, it's always fun to play Boston. I mean, uh, you're just kind of, you know, picked into the rivalry when, when you play with, for one of those teams. It's not like we hate them or or whatnot. It's not that, those time of days anymore, but, you know, you get up for those games because, you know, the atmosphere and the fans and how everybody approaches it. So, um, you know, like I said, it's fun. It's exciting. Um, it makes it a little bit more meaningful, more edgy. So, Do you kind of get that from others in the organization, though, that, oh, yeah, you're playing Boston. You better beat them. Nah. No. Nope. Nobody really talks about it too much. Um, 
you know, it's not really the 80s or things like that, so.